Today I'm going to install and configure my uh, Bulldog Pro system. Hi, I'm Blake, a professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <coughs> Alright, before I get to the, uh, the Bulldog Pro install, I just wanted to uh, talk a bit about my little theme I have going here uh, in pursuit of the invisible smart home and what I mean by that. A smart device or solution that you don't notice until it's meant to be noticed and when you do notice it it's a good thing. So basically there's just a lot of bad um, technology out there in the smart home that could be improved. I'm going to show you a couple of examples now of what you know could be improved and doesn't work. All right, so here's the first example. These puck style leak sensors. We make them, lots of people make them, and they're a good solution. Um, if a human can touch something, you know, cameras or other things, um, eventually they do get tampered with. Uh, not for bad reasons necessarily, but as, as an example, you have this behind the toilet and you have somebody, um, somebody that isn't you. <laughs> Uh, cleans the bathroom and moves this. I don't know what it is. They move it out of the way and put it on the window ledge. Now it's invalid. So not only that, you know, you can see it. It's a device you can see, just like you can see a smoke detector. There is another way to do this, and it be a micro flow leak device. And there are some devices out there um, that they're not ready for market. And we've uh, looked at partnering with a couple different people, and we've tested a few things. Um, the kind of device we want would be micro flow device that can look for uh, leaks in your plumbing system and something like that wouldn't entirely eliminate these things but you'd have to have less of these and you just have this one device on the plumbing pipe uh, ideally it'd be a non-invasive device another example is my um, my google home um, when i ask it uh, uh, tell it to do a smart home thing okay turn on the hot tub I don't really need uh, Google replying, telling me what it's doing every time. You turn on the light, hey, I'm turning on the living room light. You don't need that. And there may be a way to turn that off in, uh, in Google, but that's technology that needs to be improved. Um, as an example, I noticed the Alexa, Alexa it, doesn't, it just kind of flashes and has a small tone to re uh, acknowledging that it's taking care of the tasks that you requested. I wanted to mention a couple cool things about the Bulldog Pro before I got to the installation. Uh, first, the included uh, leak sensors in the starter kit are long range. They're good for, you know, we've tested up to 500 meters, you know, half a kilometer. And it'll be the same for the uh, control module. So they're good in uh, situations where you have a big home or a big area where you need to add leak sensors and the, uh, the Bulldog. Also, the system can work without the hub. You don't necessarily need to uh, set up a hub. These leak sensors can be paired directly with this control module. So when, it, when they are triggered, it'll shut off the water. Of course, you need the hub if you want to control it with your phone and set up uh, schedules and so on. The system includes uh, three long range LoRa leak sensors, the hub, the Bulldog itself, along with a couple mounting brackets. I'm only showing the one here and the uh, control module. All right, so the valve itself will be about 50 feet out from the hub. There it is there. And I'm going to open that. Also, something else that's kind of cool, it has an integrated battery backup. So this control module plugs into the, uh, the Bulldog um, and it can run off the batteries for months at a time really. But you can also plug in an AC adapter here and in my case this will be running off the batteries so I'm hoping it should be good for uh, you know two plus years. And one other cool thing is um, because we use a standard connector, a standard PS2 connector in our Bulldog, this is kind of an adapter to this two wire controller. Um, you can open this up and pull the, uh, the standard PS2 connector up and add an extension up to 100 feet we've tested. So if you wanted to position the control module someplace more convenient for the AC power 
or you just uh, had uh, wanted to have access to control as an example the valve might be in the basement and you could you know run in a cable upstairs under the kitchen and this could be a kind of a backup control by pushing this button to open and close the valve so let's get to the installation i've already taken care of the uh, hub installation even though i've set up the hub i haven't connected this to the hub and i haven't connected the leak sensors to the hub so what i'm going to do first is connect the leak sensors directly to this and just show you how it works without the hub. So I've plugged the Bulldog into the controller and let's complete a test stroke. So now this is valve open and it'll, you'll see that when I install it on the valve. Let's just make sure it closes. And when you push this it flashes red when it's closing and then it flashes green when it's opening. I'm not going to use the AC adapter that comes with it to you know, just more convenient without. All right, so it opens and closes fine. And I'm going to be pairing this one leak sensor. The leak sensors are kind of cool. They have probes on the bottom and probes on the top for more coverage. Start, this needs to be closed. If you want, I'm going to do the direct pairing here. This needs to be closed so that when it's direct paired, it knows to close it. And I'm just going to let it finish its stroke. And then I will go through the direct pairing process. And what's cool about the direct pairing is that you don't need the hub. You don't need the internet. When this leak sensor gets wet, you don't need the app. When this leak sensor gets wet or any leak sensor that's directly paired, uh, it's going to shut off the valve. So let's go through the direct process pairing process now. So you make sure the valve is closed because that's what you want to happen when you this is activated. So you hold the button on the leak sensor until it flashes green. All right, so it's flashing green. You hold the button on the control module until it flashes green. Okay, it's flashing green. Then they both stop flashing. So now when this gets wet, it should shut off the water. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna turn the water back on first because we needed it off for the pairing process. So now let's just get a little bit of water. And imagine the water is moving and the leak sensor isn't. shuts off the water. So you can do this uh, with all the leak sensors, without a hub, without the internet. I've done the direct pairing and demonstrated that. Now I'm going to pair the Bulldog control module to the hub and pair the leak sensor to the hub and then set up uh, automation so that when there's a leak it uh, shuts off the water. And that automation will be redundant because um, this is already direct paired as you know but it'll show you how to do uh, automation you know so if you decide that you don't want to do the direct pairing but I'm just going to go through the process now of pairing the uh, control module and uh, this leak sensor to add a device you just scan it you click on the top right here and let's it's looking to scan so let's turn this over it'll scan it that simple it's added it you want to so you just say yes you want to bind the device and that's it it's done so let's just go back and rename it valve okay let's just see if it works so all right so it's closing the valve I'll just let it finish this stroke so you can see how long it takes. And we'll just open the valve here. And it's opening the valve. So now let's uh, pair the leak sensor. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing for the leak sensor. Top right, it's going to ask to scan it. And I'll hold it up. It's found it. I'm going to say bind device. 
done. It's added it so it's at the bottom here. Let's just rename it. Got a little bit of water. Let's get it wet. Shuts off the valve and it tells me, it gives me a notification it's got a leak and it says, shows the picture here of the wet device. So let's dry it off. It shows normal, goes back to normal. So let's add automation to uh, shut off the water in the case of a leak, in case of this leak sensor here. We've set the automation and uh, saved it. All right, to finish the automation, let's, uh, we have to name it. All right, let's just give it a test. Get the light sensor wet, should get a notification, and it shuts off the valve. All right, so I got my notification, it's shutting off the valve. There we go, all right. I've paired the leak sensor directly to the control module. I've paired both the control module and the leak sensor to the hub and set up redundant automation. And now I'm going to go install it, do the mechanical, the hard work, install it on the, uh, the valve about 50 feet out uh, the front of my property in the ground. Um, I'm probably gonna fast forward through uh, most of that, but I'll show you the basic uh, mechanics of it. So I've loosened the uh, captive locking screw and I've given it a quarter turn and I should be able to just pull it up here. All right, so it looks like there's lots of room to uh, get the bulldog in there. The plumber did a good job of mounting this valve and the case. So it looks like the smaller mounting bracket, the HC. 2L is best suited for this three-quarter inch shark bite. So I'm going to uh, install it. I've got one screw on here to kind of easily flip it over the valve. All right, so I've got the bracket on there. I haven't completely tightened it, so I want to line it up so the pivot points are will be nice and even. So this is nice and straight this way in line with the valve. And now I'll just tighten it up in that position all the, uh, the pins ahead of time wide open with the bottom support bracket and I can slide this over the valve and then it'll be easier to uh, to adjust the pins tight against the handle I don't have to do it I don't have to put the valve on first so let's slide this on there into position and see about getting the pivot point centered okay I think that's it about there and I'll see if I can reach under and put this screw in. All right, it's kind of a tight fit to do this last screw and a, uh, a stubby Phillips would have been best, but I can't find one. So I'm gonna use this power drive if I can. Even this is a tight fit. Oh no, that's good. All right, now it's in there and let's, uh, before I, tuck the controller in there. Let's get my phone and uh, see if it works. So I've got to uh, tighten up the pins. I'm going to push the pins against the valve handle and then tighten them up. So let's do that. I can do that I think without. So I've tightened up and centered the pivot points the best I can. Uh, now I'm going to uh, test the uh, stroke. So See what happens. Alright, there we go. Turning up the water. I've set it so I could do it automatically when that leak sensor gets wet. You can control it remotely, set up schedules. Now the water's off. Let's turn her back on. Easy peasy. So I'm just going to tuck the uh, controller back in there and uh, put on the lid. All right, so we've got the lid back on. I'm going to cover it with this stone. 
and then later I'll cover it with a uh, with a flower pot. In conclusion, the Bulldog Pro is an excellent leak detection and prevention solution. Of course, I'm a little biased. Mounts over a standard uh, ball valve. No plumbing work is required. Leak sensors can be paired directly with the controller. So you can set the system up without a hub and you don't need an app or an internet connection. The communications uses LoRa, which is very long distance compared to other, you know, Z-Wave and Zigbee standards for the uh, leak sensors and the valve controller. Please uh, like and subscribe and look for my next video where I'm going to install and test a couple lamp modules and one of them is going to be a new matter device from uh, TP-Link.